we're here to help. <laughs> so right now, Laura McDonald with what is next. Hey guys, good morning. We have plenty of Easter recipes to make sure your holiday is fun and easy. More with Chef uh, Eric after the break. Days away and many of you will be stressing about what to prepare to eat. <laughs> but this morning, local chefs join Laura McDonald live in the newsroom with recipes sure to eliminate the stress of the holidays. Lauren, who's next? I'm taking notes. <laughs> We've got Chef Eric here from Red Gravy, Craig, and let me tell you, he is cooking up something that smells really good. Not sure what it is, but we are going to find out in a second. <laughs> Guys, whether you celebrate Passover or Easter, you're going to be hopping to it in the kitchen, more than likely, this weekend, right? So, you said it. Point is to make it easy, fun, and that is exactly what we're doing this morning. Also, Carrie Paints are here pairing wine, so it doesn't get much better in the morning. So, Chef Eric, let's start with you. What, what are you cooking up here? So, this is called a duck cell of mushroom. Uh, we're going to be doing a mushroom flan. Uh, so what I've got is some processed mushrooms. Any mushroom will work. Okay. I've got some shallots, a little garlic, and some butter. And of course, I've got salt and pepper in there. You just cook this down until all of the moisture disappears, which would take about five minutes. Okay. We'll add that into uh, this bowl. Normally, you would just let it cool for just a little bit because we're going to be making a flan, which has an egg product. And those mushrooms are really finely chopped. Yes. And then we're going to we have a little bit of marsala wine that we're going to add into this. Okay. A little bit of heavy cream. We're going to do one egg. And then we're just going to mix this together. And then we would, at once it's mixed, so normally you would cool it down, otherwise the egg will cook a little bit. Mm -hmm. You would add this into, it's called, this is called, we call it a water bath or a bain-marie. You would pour this into these little ramekins here. You'd put it into a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Okay. And then when it's done, it's going to come out looking like this. We're just going to get this out of here, turn it out onto a plate. Very nice. And then we talked about morels. There's nothing more spring than morel mushrooms and asparagus. Okay, so, so that's why this is perfect for Easter. Exactly. So we would do some asparagus, toss those in like shallots and butter, and then these are the morel mushrooms that are so prized and everybody, right now they're popping up all over. Wow. So that's a beautiful, easy, simple dish that would really impress everyone. You can make a carrot flan uh, if you want to do something more colorful, mm -hmm. and any type of vegetable will work in this. You know, you're going to laugh at me. These, I'm sure they're delicious, but they kind of look like soggy peanuts. Yes, they lie. do. They do. <laughs> not gonna lie. Soggy All peanuts. Right. Now, wine with this dish. So originally, I thought with with mushrooms, we like to do some kind of pinot noir, but then I talked to Chef Eric, and he's got Marsala wine in there, so we decided to do something a little on the sweet side. This is Gewürztraminer from Germany, and we're gonna try it out because I wasn't certain, but um, after speaking with the chef. I often am, like to just float with uh, whatever they say and give it a try. It's so. a collaboration, right? Absolutely. All right, Chef. Fantastic. Here you go. Let's cheers to the bunny. Cheers. Happy Easter. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. Very good. I wasn't expecting that. It's got like a fizz to it a little bit, a little bubbly. Just a little. Very good, guys. Easy. Easy Easter recipes for you, and you know what? You can catch all of these on our website. Do not, <laughs> do not miss our last couple segments. You're going to want to get those because we ha still have more delicious recipes for you. You mentioned that Pinot and Kim's all ears. <laughs> I know. So, same. Same. Yeah. same. Yeah. I was like, oh, the Pinot. That would have been great. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Either guys. way. Thanks so much. It is now 7. The sports coming up in about six minutes, but first, here's Lauren with what is still ahead. Hippity Hop Hop Easter is on the way. We've got wine and food to help you have the best, easiest Easter ever. 15, well, there's nothing like the holidays to spend time with family and friends, but if you're the host, sometimes it can be a bit stressful. It can. The goal is to make it as easy as possible, and Laura McDonald is live in the newsroom now getting the dish on some easy <laughs> recipes that you can prepare for the entire family. Good morning, guys. Good morning. That's right. You know what? The hunt is on for Easter eggs. The hunt is also on, like you said, for easy Easter recipes. That's what we've been previewing all morning long here with Chef Eric from Red Gravy. Thank you for being here today. And also, we are tasting wine. We are. Yeah. So very fun. And let's start first with the what you got going on here. It's meat. Earlier, Chef, Chef Stephen had some ham, you're going with the lamb. Yeah, I think the lamb is uh, also reminds us of spring. Um, and then also another spring item is peas. Uh, what I've got here is I just took some peas, I cooked them in a little chicken stock and a, some fresh mint, a little salt and pepper. And this is the way I just cook at home. You get one of these great little stick blenders okay. and you can just blend right in the cup and you don't have to worry about getting a big blender out and no making mess. a mess. Um, super, super easy. You just want to blend this. Yeah. And uh, this is this is one of the tricks we use in, the, in restaurants all the time. It just has a great, um, creates a great little quick puree. Right. So I'm going to set this puree onto the plate. You can get it thicker and even thin it out if you want. 
but it just has that nice vibrant green color. Okay. And yeah, peas, that's beautiful. peas and mint are, are a great combination. Um, what I've also got going here is a little bit of brown butter. You just take butter, put it in the pan, let it brown, literally let it burn. Okay. Um, we're going to toss these into the brown butter. These are potato gnocchi. We make fresh at the restaurant every day. It's just potatoes that are cooked down, some flour, a little bit of egg, Parmesan cheese, mm -hmm. and a nutmeg. You guys make those from scratch? We do, yes. We try to make as much as we can of, of our own pastas from scratch. Right. Um, I could tell because the size, they just look very Yeah, I think when they look, when they look kind of funky and weird, that's when they look great. <laughs> the lamb, we just, I just did salt, pepper, and rosemary. Okay. I seared and roasted it. Uh, it it's hot, internal temperature should be about 120 mm -hmm. for a perfect medium rare. Okay. I'm going to try to show you guys what that looks like. And this tastes best medium rare. I think lamb should be about medium rare, yeah. I agree. So getting through this bone is a little hard. We're just going to so like that. Nice. And Carrie, what are you thinking as far as a wine with this dish? So with lamb, you can always do something a little more bold. And, you know, we're, see we're seeing some things that are out of the box, not traditional, so to speak. And so this is a Paso Roble Zin Zinfandel. And it's got a little bit more boldness to it, a little bit more pepper notes on the finish, but the fruit is beautiful. So it's also going to go well with this, you know, the un, the not well done meat. It's right. Got, it, it needs a little more bold. So this is a Zinfandel, and I think it's going to be beautiful, especially with that brown butter. Right. And Very nice. The brown butter smells amazing, by the way. We're going to put these down, and then we're going to finish it. We have a little port wine reduction. Uh -huh. uh, which again will, it'll actually pick up kind of the sweeter notes from that Zinfandel that has kind of a jammy finish. Right. right. Uh, so this is just uh, port wine we reduced down with our uh, demi glaze, which is just a veal stock. And then uh, I'm going to finish it with pepadus. Pepadus are these great little sweet uh, chilies that just uh, are amazing and they'll add a little acid to that. Great name. And that's too. the final dish. Pepadus. Pepadu. Like, not pepadon, but pepadu. Oh, the smell, man. <laughs> When you really get in there, I mean, I've, I was smelling it earlier, but when you're, like, standing right next to it, it is, like, intense. All right, guys, these recipes all on our website to make your, easy, your Easter easy and happy and fun and delicious. Can't wait to try this one. Easy, I'm, but they look so fancy, they right? They do, and I was going to recommend the Bold Zinfandel. <laughs> bold Zinfandel, yeah. yeah. That, well, sure you, should be, you should be a wine connoisseur, too, then. <laughs> all right, Craig? Lauren, thank you. Lauren, thanks. It is now 8. Easter is on its way. It sure is, and the menu looks delicious. Right now, here's Lauren McDonald with what is still ahead. Hey guys, good morning. Coming up after the break, we've got food and wine sure to bring the bunny hop into your house. That's next. Welcome back. Time now is 8.40. The Easter Bunny brings lots of chocolate. But what about the big Easter meal? That may be up to us, right? But have no fear. Laura McDonald is live and local in the newsroom right now with local chefs for easy recipes sure to please your entire family. Lauren? Good morning. I got to tell you, I have worked up an appetite this morning. So hungry, and this food looks so delicious. Smells so delicious here with Chef Eric and Carrie. Uh, and we are talking wine and Easter dishes. You prepared a delicious dish for us in the last segment. Tell everybody what this is one more time. So, we did a roasted rack of lamb. We have a mint pea puree, a rosemary and port wine reduction, and we have some. Potato gnocchi done in brown butter sauce. Very nice. And we paired a white wine with us before. We did. And this time we're going to do a Zinfandel. And this one has got some really ripe, jammy flavors, some nice peppery finish. And I think it's going to be beautiful with that. And I can't wait I to try it. I love the way you smell. describe the wine. Peppery oh. finish. Oh, just wait. Yeah, I'm excited. We're all doing All our right. Swirl and smell. Right. Do the whole thing. I can just smell this instead of drink it almost, but I think it is peppery. You get it? You're right. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, um, you're good at your job. That's for <laughs> sure. Now, if somebody wants to make this a dish that's similar to this, but a little bit easier, a little bit less involved, how do they do that? Um, a, lot of, a lot of times I always talk about my mom. She would always, she, you know, chasing the kids around the house. She loved roasts or like a pot roast or something. So I, you could always use a shoulder of lamb or a leg of lamb and put it into a pressure cooker or, or some type of a long time cook. Braise it down. Braising just means you fill it about halfway with liquid and just throw your vegetables in there. Throw it in the oven. Let it go. Right. Now let's talk about this culinary passport you guys have coming up at the end of the month. You're both right. going to be there. Yes. And it's going to feature uh, dish dishes from all 12 different countries. Yes. And you're actually going to do f French food. Yes. We're actually at an Italian restaurant at uh, Red Gravy, but um, I, I do have a French training background, so um, and I've worked in a lot of French restaurants, so uh, I'm very, very happy to represent France. Very nice. Very nice. Can't wait for that. And you're going to be there pairing wines with all these delicious meals. We'll have meals. lots of wine vendors. It'll be so much fun for people to come in and just sample all sorts of pla places and places of wine, too. So. Very nice. All right. I'm going to give this a try. The Gnocchi. I always gnocchi. have a hard time saying that word. Yeah, it's, everyone comes in and say gnocchi, gnocchi, gnocchi. Mm. 
You gotta try it. <laughs> I I probably should. I'm As guys, really yeah, eyeing say, that papery. These flaves are out of bounds. <laughs> I gotta tell you, <laughs> so good. I so good. Like mm. I I would hate to be. A in a room alone with a bunch of these. Yes. <laughs> we, oh, wow. see, we wouldn't see Lauren for a while. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of love. Delicious. Happy Easter to all my yes. peeps. Happy Easter to you guys. Happy Good Easter. stuff. And thank you guys Lauren. all for being here Thank this you. morning. Thank She's you. getting down verbally with uh, <laughs> the flaves and <laughs> thanks. All right.